Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In the Money Stocks. My name is Nick Santiago. Today is May 11, 2015. Thank you all for tuning in. So let's jump right into the charts here. We have the S&P 500 E-mini futures up here, and you're going to see that they are flat on the session. So the market seems to be holding on to all of its Friday gains. Friday, there was a big, big rally in the market. Right now, the futures are trading at 2108 and a half per contract. Now, before I forget, this coming Friday, the, uh, I believe, which is the 15th of May, is going to be the options expiration for the month of May. Therefore, you will hear a lot of rumors this week. You will hear a lot of takeover chatter. You will hear a lot of upgrades and downgrades. Most of it is going to be nonsense, but that's what we get during an options expiration week. So be prepared for what we call the unexpected. This is the real shark week. Uh, again, you're going to hear a lot of upgrades, downgrades takeover rumors some will be true some will be false but again this is just typical options expiration trading so be aware of that that will go on for the entire week all the way up until friday remember the institutions always have enough capital on hand to push stocks wherever they need to be for a couple of days so just take that into consideration all right let's look at some stocks in the news today we're going to start off with Dish Network, ticker symbol is D-I-S-H. Uh, right now, the stock is trading at 67.05, closed at 66.86. If it does rally, it only has upside to around $72.35, maybe $72.40. I'm not sure it's even going to rally. If it does decline, uh, watch for support right around the 64.90. Uh, so keep support on watch here at 64.90. There could be maybe a little micro bounce play there. But again, I'm not seeing all that much out of DISH at the moment. But we'll see how it plays out once the opening bell rings. Let's take a look at ACT which is another stock reporting earning, earnings. This is Activist. Stock right now is trading at 301. I'm going to give it the upside to around 308 and a half, maybe 309. This is a strong name. Stock's been holding up well. I don't really see anything terrible with the pattern here. If it does sell off, it will find support around the 280 level. But right now, um, max upside from what I could see on the daily chart would be around 309, 308, 75, somewhere in that vicinity. So keep that on the radar. Let's take a look at Hilton Hotels or Hilton Worldwide as it's known. HLT is the ticker symbol. I believe they had earnings as well. Stock closed at $30.10. It is now trading at $29.72. Not sure we can make too much out of this. Um, I have a hard time seeing the stock really break down. So I would say there would be a lot of support on the charts here around $28.85, maybe $28.87, right in that area, give or take a couple of pennies. Um, if it does rally, there'll be resistance around $31.60 to $31.75. Again, I wouldn't short it. If you own it, try your stop loss. If you don't own it, there could be a play here after the opening bell rings. We will look at it today at some point. So we'll keep that one on the radar. Let's take a look at Toyota Motor. Um, I did see some news here on Toyota. They're going to expand their partnership with Mazda, but the stock is gapping down this morning. So it closed at $142.00. And 12 cents. Uh, now it's trading at $138.09. Therefore, when I see a gap down like this, I got to be a little bit on the guarded side. What I'm going to say is around 136.40, 136.25, there should be a lot of intraday support for Toyota Motor. So we'll keep that on the radar. We'll see how it plays out, but that's what I'm looking at at least this morning. Let's take a look at Dean Foods. Dean Foods right now is trading at $17.47. I'm going to give this a little bit more upside. This is a strong gap up. So this stock could get to the pivot high that was made in the month of April. On April 16th, the stock did trade as high as 17.90. Um, so I'm going to say that that's where your resistance level will be there. Also, you have a lot more resistance around the 1805, 1806 level, and then 1863. But Dean Foods, pretty strong gap up. Try your stop loss if you are long. If you're not long, I really wouldn't be chasing it up here. But again, um, I'm going to give it the upside bias to at least that pivot high from April 16th, which is around 1790. Let's take a look at uh, SCSS, which is Select Comfort. Um, right now, the stock is getting hit, but there's no volume out here, so this could all change. But I'm going to have some gap levels to this one. I'll post it up in the intraday stock chat room. Right now, this looks to be support around this $28 area, but either way, um, this is a little bit on the thinner side. Rarely does it trade a million shares a day. In fact, on average, it probably trades about a half million. So again, you got to be careful with these kind of stocks that can overshoot, but I do have some nice levels uh, if you want to step in and take a little risk 
on Select Comfort. Let's take a look at uh, Rosetta Resources, ticker symbol is ROSE, R-O-S-E. This stock is being bought out, I believe, by Noble Energy. So, again, if you own it, trail your stop loss. If you don't own it, I wouldn't do anything here. Um, it is a takeover, and you want to be a little bit careful. Let's take a look at Zulily. It looks like Alibaba has taken a 9% stake in the company. Stock closed at 1329 on Friday. It is now trading at 1588 so pretty good little move up there. I don't really have any levels, but we will be watching this one once the opening bell rings in the intraday stock chat room. Let's switch gears here a little bit. You do have crude oil trading up three pennies uh, to $59, and we'll make that six pennies. $59.45 a, a barrel right now. So again, oil is just uh, basically flat. You have gold futures trading down about 70 cents to $1,188.40. If you take a look at the GLD this morning, you'll see that that is trading right around the 114.03 level. So there's not much uh, we're going to do with either one of these at the moment. But again, we will look at them once the opening bell rings. There's always trades that can be found. Today is a Monday. It's a little bit on the slower side. But just beware, um, we will still be getting earnings out. A lot of the household names are already done. But we have Options X in place this week. And when I tell you this is the real shark week, this is the week where uh, you'll get a lot of shenanigans, a lot of game playing by the institutional money. You want to be a little bit on the guardian and careful side. Like I said uh, earlier, there'll be tons of upgrades and downgrades that are absolutely ridiculous, but they're going to come out. There's going to be a lot of takeover chatter, a lot of rumors. That's just a typical options X. With that being said, everybody, I want to wish you all a great trading day, and we will see you on the charts.